myself, Sai Prasad, a lecturer in the Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths E. We have been discussing the different concepts of trigonometric ratios up to transformations till now. We have started with the definition of angles, then next compound angles, multiple angles, sub multiple angles, right. Uh, from the last session, uh, we are discussing few problems of multiple and sub multiple angles. Let us have few more problems today. See here, the question today given here it is. Uh, he is asking us to show that cos power 4 pi by 8, cos power 4 3 pi by 8, cos power 4 phi pi by 8, cos power 4 7 pi by 8 equal to 3 by 2, right. One thing we know that we have to convert everything is into single term, right. Uh, if we observe uh, what is pi by 8, pi is 180, pi by 4 is 45, this is 22 and a half, right. Here it is 22 and a half into 3. Here it is 22 and a half into 5, 22 and a half into 7, okay. If we observe here, can I write this pi 7 pi by 8 as pi minus pi by 8? Can I write like that, right? I will write this as cos power 4 pi minus pi by 8, isn't it? What it will become? 8 pi minus pi is 7 pi, 7 pi by 8, is it clear? Then cos of pi by pi minus pi by 8 will be cos pi by 8, this and that will be similar. Now, can I write the same thing for this? Can I write phi pi by 8 as pi minus 3 pi by 8? Can I write like that? Is not it? We can write it. Yes, the two terms will be same cos power 4 pi by 8 plus cos power 4 3 pi by 8. Now, let us simplify it, that is it. Here it is cos power 4 pi by 8 plus cos power 4 3 pi by 8 plus pi minus pi theta, cos of pi minus theta is always cos theta, but it is in second quadrant. Even it is power 4, it will be positive, right, cos 3 pi by 8 power 4. Here cos power 4 pi by 8, see here cos power 4 pi by 8, cos power 4 pi by 8, it will be 2 cos power 4 pi by 8. Here cos power 4 3 pi by 8, cos power 4 3 pi by 8, it is also cos power 4 3 pi by 8. Can I take 2 common from these 2 terms? Yes, we can. It will become 2 into cos power 4 pi by 8 plus cos power 4 3 pi by 8. Now, tell me. Can we simplify this? How to simplify? Can I write 3 pi by 8 some other number? Can I? Tell me 3 pi by 8. Uh, if I add 1 pi by 8 to that, it will become 4 pi by 8, which is nothing but pi by 2, right? Then I can write 3 pi by 8, that is cos power 4 pi by 8 will be as it is plus cos power 4. I can write 3 pi by 8 as pi by 2 minus pi by 8. You can check here, LCM is 8, here it is 4 pi minus pi is 3 pi by 8, is not it? Therefore, this will become as 2 into cos power 4 pi by 8 plus sin power 4 pi by 8. Next, similarly, we have to simplify this. Uh, do we have any relation for cos power 4 and sin power 4? We have only cos square plus sin square. Let us write it like that 2 into cos square pi by 4 whole square plus sin square pi by 8, it is whole square. Is it clear? A square plus B square. What to do with that? A square plus B square, I need A plus B in that. It can be written as A plus B whole square minus 2AB. That is nothing but 2 into A plus b whole square minus 2 a b. Is it right? Is it clear? This the value of this will be 1, which says let us write here. The value of cos square plus sin square is 1 minus, what is the value of 2 cos square sin cos square? Do we have anything for that? Do we have? We do not have let us multiply, uh, let us write it as it is 2 cos square pi by 8 sin square pi by 8, okay. Let us multiply uh, this 2 inside, 
it will become 2 minus 2 to the 4 cos square pi by 8 sin square pi by 8. Okay. Uh, can I take it as a common? Let us see here. Here this can be written as 2 minus 2 cos pi by 8 sin pi by 8 whole square, is not it? 2 sin a cos a, what is it? It is nothing but sin 2 a whole square, again do not uh, confuse here, 2 1s are, 2 4s are, it is nothing but 2 minus sin square pi by 4, what is the value of sin pi by 4? 1 by root 2, which is nothing but 2 minus 1 by 2, LCM is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3 by 2. Is it clear? Did you understand the problem? Once again, let me tell here. Show that cos power 4 pi by 8, 3 pi by 8, 5 pi by 8, 7 pi by 8 is given. I have converted the last two, 7 pi by 8 as pi by pi minus pi by 8, 5 pi by 8 as pi minus 3 pi by 8. Okay? Cos of pi minus theta is cos theta, cos of pi minus theta is cos theta. Okay? Uh, there are two, two things, cos pi by 8, pi by 8, 3 pi by 8, 3 pi by 8. Right? I have written as 2 into 2, 2 plus 2. Uh, I have taken 2 common, I have got this. Right? I have written this as uh, again simplified this 3 pi by 8 as single pi by 8. Then I have written this as cos square whole square plus sin square whole square. Then after simplification, I got the value of 3 by 2. Is it clear? This is one of the important question for 4 marks. Is it right? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let us do. See here, the next problem given here it is, he is asking us to prove that sin pi by 5, sin 2 pi by 5, 3 pi by 5, 4 by 4 pi by 5 as 5 by 16. Okay? The same thing, we have to transform any one of the angle. How to do? Here it is pi by 5. Uh, can I change one thing is we can change here. Hmm? How to remember is the numerator is only a single digit less than this. We can remember like that. This can be written as pi minus pi by phi. Yes, can we write like this, right? Pi minus pi by phi. What it will become? It will become as phi pi minus 1 pi, that is 4 pi by phi. Similarly, what about this? This can also be written as pi minus 2 pi by phi. Let us do that. It is again simple thing. Uh, let us take LHS, that is sin pi by phi into sin 2 pi by phi into sin 3 pi by phi can be written as pi minus 2 pi by phi into sin 4 pi by phi can be written as pi minus pi by phi, is not it? Now, let us do that. This is sin pi by phi into sin 2 pi by phi into sin of pi minus theta, sin of uh, pi minus theta is second quadrant, it will be always positive into sin pi by phi, is not it? Sin pi by phi, sin pi by phi, how much it will become? It will be sin square pi by phi into, here if we multiply these both, it is sin square 2 pi by phi. What is pi by phi actually? Pi is 180, 180 by phi is 36. Uh, do we know the value of sin 36? Yes, do we know that? And sin uh, 2 pi by phi, it is nothing but sin 72. How much is the value? Do we know those values? If you do not know, we can directly solve it. Do we know those values? If not, let us directly uh, substitute in this what it will become? Sin square 36, can I simplify it as uh, 1 minus cos square? Okay, let us write, because I know the value of 36, is it right? La, is it right? Then next, sin 72 can be written as cos 18, is not it? 72 is sin 72 is nothing but sin of 90 minus 18, which is cos 18. Do I know the value of cos 18? Let me write it again. Here it is 1 minus cos square 36, here 1 minus sin square 18. I know the values of these both. Let us simplify that. That is 1 minus cos 36 ka value kya hai? What is it? Root 5 plus 1 by 4 whole square into 1 minus 
root 5 minus 1 by 4 whole square, is not it? Let us simplify this value and check whether we are getting 5 by 6 or not, okay. Let us do that, that is 1 minus root 5 plus 1 by 4, okay. Let us do it separately, that is 5 plus 1 plus 2 root 5 whole divided by 16 into 1 minus root 5 minus 1, how much is it? Again a minus b whole square that is 5 plus 1 minus 2 root 5 by 16, is not it? The LCM is 16 in the first term, it will become 16 minus 5 minus 1 minus 2 root 5 into here also LCM is 16, 16 minus 5 minus 1 plus 2 root 5. Now check 16 minus 5, 11, 11 minus 1 is 10 minus 2 root 5 by 16 into here it is 10 plus 2 root 5 by 16, okay. A minus B into A plus B, what it will become? It will be 10 square minus 2 root 5 whole square divided by 16 into 16. Let us keep it like that only. Uh, Let us cancel everything and check whether we are getting the same. 100 minus 2 square is 4, 4 5 is a 20, 16 into 16, 100 minus 20 is 80 by 16 into 16, 16 ones are 16, is it right? 5 is a, that is equal to answer is 5 by 16. Are we getting the same which they asked us to prove? Is it clear? What is that we have to remember here? We have to remember how to change this ratio and the next is we have to remember uh, the value of cos 36 and sin 18. Even we do not know the values of these things, uh, I was able to write uh, and deduce till here, okay. In a few materials or some question minds you may find that uh, they will find the value of cos 36 as root 10 minus 2 root 5 kind of things, okay. Uh, even if you remember that or else you can simplify in uh, each and every problem like this also, okay. Is it clear? Let us move on to the next problem. See here, the next question given here it is, he is asking us to prove that 1 plus cos pi by 10, 1 plus cos 3 pi by 10, cos 7 pi by 10, cos 9 pi by 10 is equal to 1 by 16. The same thing, we have to change any two ratios in terms of another thing. I already told whenever the numerator number is less than denominator, just a number, we can write this as cos of pi minus pi by 10. Here also, cos of pi minus 3 pi by 10, let us do that, that is the solution is from LHS, I will write it as 1 plus cos pi by 10 will be as it is 1 plus cos 3 pi by 10 into 1 plus cos 7 pi by 10 can be written as pi minus 3 pi by 10, right, into 9 pi by 10 can be written as pi minus pi by 10, is it right, is it clear? Let us simplify that, it will become 1 plus cos pi by 10 into 1 plus cos 3 pi by 10 into 1 plus cos of pi minus theta, cos of pi minus theta is in second quadrant, then it will be negative sign, it will become minus cos 3 pi by 10 into 1 minus, again this is also the same, pi 1 minus cos of pi by 10. If you observe, this is 1 plus cos theta, this is 1 minus cos theta, is not it? It will become 1 minus cos square pi by 10, is it right? Here also, this is 1 plus cos pi by 3 pi by 10, this is 1 minus cos 3 pi by 10, it will become 1 minus cos square 3 pi by 10. What is 1 minus cos square theta? That is nothing but sin square theta, that is sin square pi by 10 into, here also it is sin square 3 pi by 10, right. What is pi by 10? Do you know the value? Pi by 10 is nothing but our, yes, cos sin square 18, okay. Here sin square 3 pi by 10, that is 18 3 is 54. Let us write it as sin square 18 into sin square 54. Do I know the value of sin 54? Sin 54 is nothing but our cos 
Yes, 36. Let us substitute and simplify it. What is sin 18? Sin 18 is nothing but root 5 minus 1 by 4 whole square into cos 36 is root 5 plus 1 by 4 whole square. Okay. Let us simplify that and check whether we are getting the value. Root 5 minus 1 by 4 whole square by 16 into root 5 plus 1 whole square divided by 16. Again, this is also a minus b whole square, this is also a plus b whole square. That is, we can even uh, combine it and simplify or else let us simplify it separately. Root 5 minus 1 whole square is 5 plus 1 minus 2 root 5. Here, 5 plus 1 plus 2 root 5 divided by 16 into 16. 6 minus 2 root 5. Here, 6 plus 2 root 5 divided by 16 into 16, right? A minus b into a plus b that is 6 square minus 2 root 5 whole square by 16 into 16. 6 square is 36 minus 2 square is 4, 4 5 is a 20 by 16 into 16. That is nothing but 16 by 16 into 16. These both get cancelled. The answer is 1 by 16. That is what he asked us to prove. Is it clear? Did you understand what are they trying to tell? Let me tell you again. There is also a 4 marks question, one of the most important questions. If you observe here, he is asking us to prove. 1 plus cos pi by 10, 1 plus cos 3 pi by 10, 1 plus cos 7 pi by 10, 1 plus cos 9 pi by 10 equal to 1 by 16. That is, we have to transform any two angles. That is, here it is pi by 10, here it is 9 pi by 10. Let me write this 9 pi by 10 as pi minus 3 pi, uh, pi minus pi by 10, right? And 7 pi by 10 as pi minus 3 pi by 10, okay? Then 1, my 1 plus cos of pi minus 3 pi by 10 is cos 3 pi by 10 with a negative sign. Why? It is in the second quadrant. Pi minus theta is in second quadrant. Cos is negative. Clear? Similarly, here also minus cos of pi by 10. If we observe, this is 1 plus cos theta, this is 1 minus cos theta. It will become 1 minus cos square theta. Here also it is 1 plus cos. Here it is 1 minus cos. It will become 1 minus cos square. Right? 1 minus cos square is sin square. Here also 1 minus cos square is sin square. Okay? Uh, sin square pi by 10, that is sin 18, here it is sin 54. I know the value of sin 18. Do I know the value of sin 54? Sin 54 can be written as 90 minus 36. 90 minus theta, it will change into cos 36. We will substitute the values of them and we will simplify to get the value. Is it right? Are you okay with this problem? What all we discuss? In this chapter, we have discussed starting from the angle. Then we have uh, solved a few problems of tr trigonometric ratios. When sign is given, we have to find the remaining all other things, right? We have seen the values of uh, si ratios of different angles, such as uh, not only the standard angle 0 to 90, we have gone through more things. We have seen the compound angles in that we could remember the value of sin 15, 75 kind of things. And in this exercise, we learnt about the half angles and the multiple angles like uh, this 1836, 22 and a half kind of problems also we can see, is it right? And we have seen different, different problems of this kind, okay? Is it clear? By next class, once again, I am telling you have to be perfect with each and every problem. There is nothing that uh, you can leave one kind of problem, you can uh, remember another formula like that. You have to remember each and every formula, okay? Is it clear for today? Fine. Let us have few more problems of trigonometric ratios and transformation in our next session. This is for today. Thank you.